Julius Rosenwald became partners with Richard Sears in 1895. Sears was what you could call a swashbuckling salesman. He would sell things he didn't have. He would sell things he didn't even understand. What he enjoyed was the selling. Under Rosenwald's leadership, Sears Roebuck became the largest retailer in the country. Julius Rosenwald had two personalities. He was a tough businessman. And then, of course, this other side, the civil rights champion, somebody who really saw the disgrace in this country of African Americans being treated so poorly. Education was seen as a dangerous thing, uh, and white Southerners wanted to keep it out of black people's hands. There's a saying that a lie is halfway around the world while truth is still pulling on its boots. Similarly, in our world, the deeds of evildoers are remembered, and good deeds that people do are sometimes lost to history. That's why I'm so happy to be talking about Rosenwald, a new documentary by Aviva Kempner about a man whose good deeds were absolutely remarkable. The man was Julius Rosenwald. He was a tight-fisted businessman. He was the head of Sears Roebuck and Company, one of the wealthiest men in the United States. He met Booker T. Washington, and he became intrigued by the notion of helping poor African-American children in the segregated South get a better education. He helped fund more than 5,000 Rosenwald schools that helped educate young people who otherwise would not have had schooling at all. Similarly, he founded the Rosenwald Foundation, a major supporter of African Americans in the arts. This is a man who should be remembered, and this expert documentary makes sure that will happen. For the Los Angeles Times, this is Kenneth Turan.